right guys, what is going on? This is the second morning, second day of another journey. What's going on, Jonathan? What's up? So of course, you know, your boy's Johnny, he's chauffeuring me. I'm broke as shit. Oh, look at that. Oh, hello. Another E92 in the family. Just chilling out here. Man, he's such a flex. Have you seen how he turns? He's a 35 too. He's a 35 or no? Yeah, uh, he knows what he's driving, that's why. So we're gonna head out to Erlon's place right now. You guys saw that he picked up a new car. Uh, we saw the deal. Me and my brother couldn't get it, so at least Erlon got it. We're, gonna, we're hoping either Erlon or Jonathan gets this. Too good of a deal to pass up $300, guys. And as you saw the last video, we were able to start it up, no issue. So, super hyped on that. I don't have this much energy with no food. But, yeah, we're heading over to BMW right now to get an OEM drain screw with an OEM washer for the E46. It's leaking oil with the uh, with the, the new washer you put on it. The drain plug, Erlon is saying, is not OEM. So, we're just trying to go everything OEM and see if that fixes our issue. If it doesn't, we got a, we got a bigger project on our hands. Yeah. If it does, perfect. Just perfect. Um, but yeah, that's not gonna be the plan of today. That just means we're just picking up something on the way to Erlon. But yeah, we're gonna hopefully go to Erlon, do all his stuff on the E90. We're gonna pick up some parts from a local uh, junkyard. And at the same time, working on this car, right? Yeah. We're doing his brakes. Doing you have your diff fluid, right? I have the diff fluid. So we're gonna be hopefully fixing everything that's wrong with this car, hopefully. Um, and then we'll get some things coded out today or tomorrow, depending on what, what how much time we have. Uh, but yeah, we're pretty much fixing three different cars in one video. So if you guys are hyped for that, make sure to smash the like button and stay tuned. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get the drain screw here at Nilo BMW. So now we're heading over to our launch place. We got the drain plug. We got some giveaway goodies for y'all. So uh, if you guys are excited for that, let us know. Guys, I'm about to go knock on his window and be like, let me take this off your hands. <laughs> <laughs> let me save this poor guy. He's being dragged on a dolly. You're not even towing it right, man. It's messed up, dude. Let's pull up on the side and we should just stop it from like at like a crime scene. Go, go. Oh my god, look how he's driving. This is so not cool. Dude, look how he abused that car, man. Not nah, cool, dude. If it wasn't for me and Jonathan, <laughs> so many BMWs though. would be a junkyard and be a crush. <laughs> wow, you're saving lives. Sorry, don't leave me. I want you here with me. Ooh, the nation. Song's good. I saw your parents walking over there. What the heck? All right, guys. So right now you can see the front windows are good. Actually, the, the windows are tinted too. A little bit, huh? Yeah, the front they're tinted all the way around. So he's gonna pick up all these windows because he definitely needs them. And uh, we'll see for any other parts that we actually need. I'm over here. I just found an R350. Like, what the heck? It's my dad's car, and I'm pretty sure this navigation screen on his is like slightly faded right here. And I need. I know these things go for like 300 bucks, and they sell it here for like 30 bucks. So uh, I think I might get this for my dad and surprise him. I don't know if it's the exact same one, but regardless, he's going for 300 bucks. So I'll sell this one and get the one that he needs. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take this thing out for somebody else, Dad. I can't believe you just found one. Hey, thanks, Johnny, for hooking it up. Cool. <laughs> you're helping my dad, yeah, you're helping yeah. yourself, you're helping her line. <laughs> Guys, I'm no longer saying damn, I'm gonna say dang, right? So, dang, dang. imagine <laughs> they're like unsubscribed. <laughs> we just found this paperwork inside the car. He probably got it diagnosed, thought he had a blown head gasket, and he won't even tell us he had a blown head gasket. And uh, also, we were asking him about the engine, 
he would always like go to the transmission. Yeah, like, yeah, the transmission is fine. We we're like, what's the engine like? But oh, I promise you, the transmission is fine. <laughs> like, so we're not asking about the goddamn <laughs> transmission right now. Yeah, so you can see he was looking into it. We found this in the passenger seat. Should have yeah. hit this better, honestly. Oh but like, should just pull this out and confronted him. It was so funny. I'm sorry, my friends are still three years old. <laughs> Who puts John on their thigh like that? And he puts it, you wanna abbreviate that? Uh, What's going on, girl? Come on. As we were literally, uh, so we were talking about garages and stuff the past couple days, we were just thinking about getting a garage. And then open this, Jonathan finds this cookie like inside the car. Fortune cookie, right? Yeah. I open it. What does it, it say? It says, stop searching forever, happiness is just next to you. What? what is that the garage to next the door? Garage oh my like, lord. Right? Alright guys, so we're dipping from Roland's place right now. AC full blast. We're out here dying in baloney. Because I can't be cursing no more. Uh, <laughs> so anyways, uh, we'll catch you guys when we actually get back. Roland might actually be helping us do uh, his brakes, right? Yeah. We know how to do it, but just to speed up the process. But for sure he's gonna help us with the diff, which is something I've never done before. So it's a learning, you know, for all of us. Uh, but also I'm gonna put in my new drain screw from BMW that paid $14 for a stupid screw. And hopefully that will fix my problem. Because <laughs> I don't want no more leaks. Guys, our luck. There must have been an accident or something because there this this road never has traffic. That's so weird. So we just picked up some of this gel. It's called a thread locker for uh, drain bolts. This is actually used for this is actually used for like screws you're you're actually removing and reinstalling, not to permanently lock things, but it makes the, the thread thicker. So uh, this is what we're gonna end up using if the OEM drain screw doesn't work. I need this thing to seal. So if the OEM drain screw doesn't work, we'll use something like this for now, but I'm hoping the OEM drain screw is good. I just wanna make sure I have this at my home, at my disposal, worst case. God bless the water, because water really gave me a lot of energy. Drink about two water bottles, just straight up. Didn't even think twice about it. So we're back home, we're chilling. I'm a little bit, oh damn, I can actually feel the water moving in my stomach. That's a little bit too much water. But anyways, E46 is up. So I'm gonna show you guys the current drain screw issues and show you guys a new drain screw and uh, we're gonna see what we're gonna do here. I'm gonna try to find you guys the drain screw, show you guys the new drain screws and the old drain screws and which ones we're using and which ones we're not and what we're gonna be doing, worst case scenario. But um, I don't think we have to replace the oil pan. This is an older car, it's not worth replacing the oil pan. The oil pan is not leaking. What's leaking is the drain screw. So if you have something stupid as that, um, so the silicone should be just fine. It's replaceable every damn time you do the, the screw. It's not a permanent thing. So uh, we'll show you guys, let me just go find the screw real quick. Time to get the screw out. So apparently I forgot that when I got the bolt out, it went in. No! It's not that big of a deal. Oh my lord. You got a glove on. It hurts, Jonathan. <laughs> glove or no glove? Now how do we get out of this situation, Jonathan? Actually, Jonathan, I'm gonna need you to do me a favor. Yes. Get the screw out of your car. I appreciate you, sir. Am I asleep or something? Or <laughs> what is going on? All right guys, so we're showing you guys all the SKUs right now. Amazon versus BMW versus wherever the hell the other one was. So, OEM, didn't even cheap out. $2, $2, Jonathan, $14, $16 for this little guy. All right, so that is OEM BMW. It is actually shorter, dude. It's actually shorter. So this is some China one, I'm assuming. And this is uh, Amazon. So, we're not using Amazon, we're not using some aftermarket, we're using OEM, boys. Let's go ahead and take it out. All right, guys, so pretty much, uh, we put two washers, put a little bit of thread lock. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and start putting in some of the oil, and hopefully, no leaks. Finally, the car is sitting down. There isn't any leaks coming out as of now. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it out right now, turn on the car, let it idle for a little bit, leave it outside. It is almost out of gas, so. Uh, don't mind me, guys. Huh? Don't mind me, guys. <laughs> don't, Jonathan, he's retarded, so don't worry about him. Uh, basically, uh, yeah, so so far, looking really good. Finally got that fixed. We put in a new oil pressure sensor, so that's good to go. Um, so as of now, we shouldn't have any issues. I think this has a brake light, so you might need to uh, uh, replace the brakes. Uh, other than that, things to come. I don't know if I told you guys in M Convergence, we're doing some M things there, some M things around here. Some M things all around there. You guys can probably see what's going on back here. That's not regular car stuff. So um, we're doing a conversion, hopefully in the near future for you guys. If you guys are hyped for that, make sure to smash that like button. You guys are smoking so much because of all the oil we, we spilled. We bro. spilled a bunch of oil. It smells bad too. What the? Yeah. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's smoking a little bit. Yeah, so it's, it's smoking down here a bit. 
And we spilled a bunch of oil, so it's not really, I'm not too worried about it. Guys, Jotha got his car inside. Uh, but yeah, Jotha's car is inside, my car's outside. We're gonna check if there's any leaks once we finish Jotha's car. Uh, it gives us plenty of time to actually diagnose. If this is like a single drop, not a big deal. There's a bunch of drops. We gotta go back and diagnose it. But uh, as of now, I'm really happy. It, like, usually when I start up the car, you see oil dripping. Like, that's how bad it is. So as of now, I'm pleased. Jonathan, we finally get to, to your car. And we were supposed to get to this last week. It's been rough, it's been rough. It's so been let's, rough. Just, let's just get to it, let's get to it. Dad just got back from work. He's cleaning up his car. E46 is now, uh, un, you know, insured. Uh, so, you guys, long story with that. I'll talk to you all what's going on with that in, you know, in tomorrow's video because we have to take that down to the shop, unfortunately. Jonathan, he's doing his brakes. Uh, Almost how's it, done. How's that working out for you? I mean, it's pretty good, right? You just need the sensors now. He didn't have sensors, unfortunately. But if you guys look at it, he has brand new F30 wheels, drill and slotted rotors, and Michelin tires. So, you guys can see like this setup right here, all new, all looks really good. Um, he's actually selling this. So, if you guys are in the lookout locally, you know, it has the red interior, manual gearbox, uh, M Sport steering wheel. It has the actual M Sport steering wheel, but not the trim, unfortunately. But, you know, ZHP shift knob. Again, red interior, it's beautiful, aluminum trim. Um, we, you know, we. Put a lot of pride into this car. Yeah. And we're about to go right now to AutoZone, replace the diff fluid. We're gonna make sure everything is good to go. We already did the oil change, coolant flush, headlights, all that good stuff. But yeah, it's pretty much good to go. It's pretty it's pretty good. And three keys. Who gets three keys? The car is up for sale. He's taking 55 for it. Guys, that is an absolute great deal for this car. Um, especially all like he has like new again, new rims, new wheels, new tires, new brakes, new rotors, uh, new fluids. Everything's new on this car. It's perfect. Uh, I'm not really trying to like, I would never encourage you guys to buy a bad car. Um, this car is perfectly good. There's nothing wrong with it. Clean title, everything. Yeah, clean title, three Literally, keys. Yeah, the valet key and two keys. They, we, everything works. We fixed practically everything that that's is wrong with this car. Yeah. So it's like, the, it's perfect. So for those of you guys who are looking out for a new BMW, here you go. Uh, Jonathan this, is looking. Oh yeah, 55 Exxon all-wheel drive. Um, Jonathan is looking to join the M, the M Club. Eventually. <laughs> Eventually, because uh, yeah, we went to LA, you know, when we took my M, we hanged out with Nick and all the crew. You know, he felt a little bit left out, so he wants to join it. This is a great entry-level car to the BMW world, especially if you don't know how to work on BMW just yet. It's a great entry-level car. We literally have done everything. We've little, yeah, we've done everything. So it's a great car. So yeah, either he's gonna be getting into the M world or he might, we might be putting a down payment or trying to get into a garage uh, or at least have some money in our banks and feeling comfortable opening up a garage and starting to do some projects with you guys. That'd be super crazy. Um, it's in the projects, it's in the making. It's something we're trying to figure out right now. So yes, let us know if you guys wanna see that happen. Anyways, we're gonna head down to AutoZone, get the diff fluid, replace that, and then uh, hopefully we should be good to go. I'll let you guys know what's going on with the E46 when we get back and finish off. Hi guys, in the E36, you guys can seriously see we need some, oh, E46, my bad. We need some serious fueling. Check, the actual oil thing is looking really good. I'm really happy that's not leaking like crazy. Um, it does need a brake, so I will do, do brakes soon. Um, other than that, no lights on the dash, everything looks great. So let's just go ahead and get this, uh, we need to get some oil in this car. <laughs> Don't worry, shift knob and everything coming in soon. By the way, Bobby, you guys are wondering about this. I wrapped this, it doesn't look good. I deleted the video, because I'm not trying to put out shitty content. So don't worry about that. I'm gonna end up getting aluminum trim or something because I'm not really digging this. It's like Alcantara, but like- It's like a brown Alcantara. Yeah. Kinda... It looks like Off. shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. All right, guys. I probably should only put $2 in, but I don't know. I probably, I, normal me would just put $2, but let's just go ahead and fill it up. All right, guys, filling her up. Let's see how much it costs to fill up an E46. Please stop at 40. Please. How much does this thing hold, dude? Oh my God. I get better gas mileage, but I swear to God, if this thing doesn't stop, I think it's a 14 gallon tank. 16 you think? My M3 is 16. It's crazy, $57. All right, guys. 50, uh, what? 57? 47. So, 57, $58, and we're rolling now. So, rip a Reno. Here at AutoZone, last little bits that we need. All right, guys, pump, pump, pump. Where is she at? Alrighty, we got a few pumps here. Actually, there's only two pumps. There is the bad pump and the good pump. And the difference is nothing. <laughs> They're the exact same price. So, Jonathan, go with the good pump. What do you say? I'm so tired. Take the good pump. 
All right, guys, so unfortunately, um, you guys saw the diff actually has a special socket from BMW. No more BMW stuff. So, meantime, packages came in uh, earlier this morning. Finally got the trim for my E90 M3. So I'll show you guys, E92 M3, I'll show you guys uh, what's going on with that. And I've never had the trim for the longest time. Finally have a trim so I can finally not have a janky looking dash. Unfortunately, we were able to do the diff, so uh, you know, your boy can't leave you with a little bit of content. Well, there's a lot of the content today, but I mean like, it's gotta be jam packed. You know what I mean? So anyways, if you guys look at this real quick, uh, when I did the CIC retrofit, I didn't have the bracket for this guy right here. So it's just been sitting like this. You can literally pull this out right now, I think. Let me see how this thing works. So yeah, it literally just dangles like this. And it's really been annoying. So you know, your boy finally found somebody selling it. And uh, here is the new one. Hallelujah. Oh my gosh. It's gonna look so complete for once. I think I actually need to pull out this trim a little bit. This trim is very sensitive. I'm already sweating here, dude. What the? It is hot. <laughs> oh, dude, you, open the, you need to open your door, man. Yeah, you know he's gonna hit that door. All right, I'm gonna put this in here right now. No way, look how good that looks. Looks so much better. <laughs> so much, actually, you know what? I'm gonna pull this out right real quick. I don't know if you guys remember the LED video I did a while back. You guys can see, I put some LEDs. Oh my God. Yeah, they gotta go. Bam, just like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the trim back. No more nasty, ricey stuff. And uh, damn, look how complete that looks. Fine, no more janky stuff. Um, even the screen's a little bit worn out, I guess. Maybe, no, it's dirty. Nah, I just like to feel like I got a good deal, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so let's put this back here and let's see if it works. And that's mint. All right, everything works. Perfect. Oh, huh? It's been a long day, dude. It has been a long day. Should we just conclude the video? Let's just conclude the video. Guys, we've been we've been literally grinding since like what time did we wake up? Like ten? We woke up at nine. 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 We woke up and at nine. Right at nine we drove to pick and pull. Yeah. And we've been doing stuff ever since. <laughs> we've been literally working on cars since morning, guys. So and pretty it's much currently uh nine seventeen. It's not midnight. You know your boys usually work till midnight, but we usually wake up later. Like I know we wake up at like hours. twelve. You work you wake up at twelve? I'm blessed. <laughs> so I know what? I know wake up at twelve. So I know we work till twelve. You know, your boy. But nine you know, to nine. <laughs> nine to nine. It's about the same thing. You know twelve hours. Twelve hours. You know, like, we hit that twelve hour mark. So, anyways, guys, if you guys have enjoyed this video, um, smash that like button. If you guys want to see future content with the E46 and other stuff like that, it will be coming soon. We're just waiting on a couple of things more to come in, and uh, tomorrow, I'm actually, about to head out and try to get that E46 fixed at a shop. And we got some things coming in for the E46. So many things, bumpers. Uh, you know, full M conversion, um, wrap, all that good stuff. So if you guys are hyped for all that, without further ado, so I cut it there. Talking too much. Smash the like button. Remember to stay out of home. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yeah, yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse. Man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words, and I put them all together in cert, cause I wanna have worth.